एनिमल फिजियोलॉजी यूनिट सेवन समय कम है काम ज्यादा है टाइम इज लेस वी हैव टू स्टडी मोर एंड एनिमल फिजियोलॉजी इज द यूनिट विच वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक टूडे एज यू एल नो सी एस आई सिलेबस इज वास्ट नो डाउट इट्स इंटरेस्टिंग टू मदर ऑफ ऑल एग्जाम्स वी कॉल इट एंड इट इज इक्वल टू ऑलमोस्ट थर्टीन मास्टर्स एम एस Today we are talking about one such unit which can play a very crucial role in your exam preparation and to enlighten you about this unit to give you some rare insights on how to study what to study how to not to study what to skip what is a priority which books to refer all that i would like to invite one of the finest experts by technica has got for unit 7 Dr. Violet. Dr. Violet is one of the finest experts we have got here for Unit Seven, and she has been with us for a decade now. And the best part about her is when she teaches, it automatically inspires the student to study. I am not an ex- ex- exception. I have also attended many of her classes, and what I noticed is her grasp on the concepts. and the lucid way which she explains it's amazing so ladies and gentlemen gentlemen boys and girls let's welcome dr violet hi dr violet ma'am how are you hello sir thank you for your kind words and i feel really you know i feel uh, thankful to you that you made me a part of this uh, enlightening and very interesting talk show and i'm sure all our viewers are enjoying it they are learning more from it and the csr aspirants are going to get great benefits out of it thank you right sir. right so ma'am uh, we are into the seventh episode now and let me tell you the more we are diving in deeper into these units i'm personally enjoying and uh, even we are getting a lot of feedback from our audience that they are also loving it so let's quickly jump into unit 7 ma'am so uh, first things first animal physiology unit 7 how important this is for csa net so about the importance is like if you see each of the units so like uh, in uh, in all of the 13 units mm-hmm. questions are asked from each of the units so it is not okay. that we cannot say even if you talk about unit 9 that you know you mm-hmm. students skip so questions are asked right. from that unit also so with that aspect if you see so in part c around 4 to 5 questions are asked so it is equally important but yes there is a choice because uh, it happens that sometimes uh, the students who are from botany they you know there is unit 6 and unit 7 so they they right. might they might take a, a choice over their unit 6 or unit 7 but definitely mm-hmm. unit 7 is an important topic and one should not skip it and another reason mm-hmm. why you should not skip it like even i am a biotechnology student but when i was writing my csi net exam i took unit 7 uh, because unit 7 is something that is very easy why i say mm-hmm. easy is because we are studying this unit right from our 11 12 we have some idea about the various systems so it is right. not a very difficult unit and mm-hmm. yes now what we have to do is for csi there is a detailed study that is required but mm-hmm. all of the biology students they already have an idea so it is not a difficult unit so that is why we should not skip this unit and some of the questions are easy they are direct they are match the following type of questions so it mm-hmm. it actually helps the students to uh, become a grf with some with oh. extra scores that they can score from unit 7 wonderful okay. pointers there ma'am thank you so much so now that we know okay uh, what how important unit 7 is in on a priority scale uh, let me ask you what exactly we should study from this unit so can we have a priority list to kind of a stuff if you could tell us so actually what happens is this unit is a large unit it's having 10 subunits but students mm-hmm. should not get you know worried that it is 10 subunits there is so much to study because the questions if they see the previous year question papers and make a note of it so they'll understand that questions are asked from some important topics like right. unit 7b that is cardiovascular system then the right. next important is respiratory system and then mm-hmm. from excre- excretory system and then from 
nervous system where they have to study about the action potential generations and the neurotransmitters and the different synapses, the different receptors. Then endocrinology and reproduction is very important because it is including many questions like if you see the previous year question papers so the questions comes from hormones and the diseases that might be caused because of excess of hormones or because of underproduction of the hormones so these are some of the important topics so that if the students you know just study these important topics out of the 10 subunits if only five to six they follow properly it's 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 really going to be helpful for them for right. solving the questions right. from unit seven right in fact what better it can, can it can be that we are studying about our own systems like yes, urinary sir. system the digestive system it's all about us right so it's actually very interesting so i don't think anybody should uh, you know skip any part but yes as per the priority list you said definitely we can follow that so uh, now having said that uh, we know the priority list do we have some standard books which we should follow for this Yes, animal physiology has a number of standard books. So it depends, like uh, now students can refer any of their choice, but what I feel the best standard reference book is Principles of Animal Physiology by Gerard J. Tortora. Then there mm -hmm. is uh, the Animal Physiology by Guyton and Hall. Okay. Then mm -hmm. there is Schwarm's Biology. So these are, then there is Ravens by uh, Animal Physiology by Ravens. So there are many uh, animal physiology textbooks, but what I feel the mm -hmm. best one is Gerard J. Tortora. But yes, students can, uh, if all the topics is available in all the books, so they can refer the other standard of the books uh, as well. Okay. So having said that, how many questions will come in part B and C from this unit? So if we go through the previous year, just previous year question paper and analyze from that question paper. So in part uh, part B, there was around four questions, and mm -hmm. in part C, there was around uh, four to five part C questions were there. So, like mm -hmm. four four questions, we can expect, expect. In part B as well as so more C. or less, we are looking at around 20 30 marks. That's yes. what this unit can fetch us if we mark it right. Okay, and are these questions applicatory based or fact based? Usually, the questions are fact based. So it's quite easy if they understand the concept and they memorize it and then they can recollect it in the exam. So that is very important. If they can do mm -hmm. that, then some of the questions are statement based. So they are very easy to solve. And some are even graph based questions. So even those mm -hmm. graphs are actually, you know, this is concept based. It's not that something that you have to sit there and you have to think of some experiment or something like that. It's not like that. It's just that those are uh, topics and then that's already a available like we already study and we go through these topics and then based on those topics certain questions are asked that are graph based so it is much easier to solve right so now ma'am uh, we know that Torator is one of the best books for this unit and uh, now that our audience knows it but at some point in time we all have to make notes for this unit right so how should we approach the notes making process what's your advice for that First, for note making, I would suggest that go through your ask the teachers what are the important topics from where they might expect the questions, underline them or note it down. And then if you're enrolled in the classes, then use those PPTs because the PPTs will have all the information, the important sure. topics. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then try, uh, no, try to understand those topics and then make the notes in your own language and once you're making the notes it is also important that you are you know after you make the notes you should also go through the reference book and check for the figures some important mm -hmm. figures because what mm -hmm. happens is in csir they they just give you the figure and they will right. you know they'll, they'll omit the labelings that are present in the figure for unit 7 Correct. it happens like that so you have to understand like which part it is so you have to just label it so very important is along with your notes keep the figures intact and mm -hmm. study from the figures as well as whatever short notes you have made so this is okay. how you can prepare for um, unit 7 along with it there are flow charts that will help because flow charts are in a very concise manner 
So uh-huh. this also uh-huh. helps, like instead of writing, if you can make the flow chart. So that is also a kind of your notes that you can follow for the exam. Okay, and wh- uh, when we are preparing for this particular unit, does it overlap with any other units of say Senate? Yes, sir. It overlaps in sense the questions. If you see, then the questions are very similar to some of the topics that are taught in Unit One, as well as mm-hmm. sometimes the questions are very similar to. Uh, uh, so majorly, it is Unit One only, and then mm-hmm. the the oxygen saturation curves. So all these are some of the topics that ma- that overlaps. Overlaps. Uh, okay. 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 So how about uh, what if a student is. Uh, now targeting more than one exam so in that case like say he's targeting gate icmr bpt will this unit help that student there also definitely sir this unit is going to help because mm-hmm. in gate gate it's as a gate life sciences okay uh, paper where we have zoology as one paper itself paper. so it yeah. is yeah. it is completely animal physiology so if right. you are studying unit 7 so it really helps in clearing gate life science from the zoology paper and how and about icmr have, yes in icmr also they have physiology so right. it is all right. about the animal physiology then we have in dbt we have uh, the animal physiology that is being asked basically the nervous system questions are asked from there okay 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 so uh, now that we know the priority list the notes and uh, the reference books and how exactly we should uh, you know prepare as a student when you were preparing for unit 7 what challenges you faced for this so the greatest challenge that we as a student face for preparing csr is time and be, being uh, like if you study unit 7 it's already a huge uh, right. like, uh, many topics there are 10 topics so hmm. that is what i faced as a student and mm-hmm. definitely one need to you know prepare earlier if they are preparing for csi net so you should have 5 to 6 months in hand so that way you know one of the challenges will be overcome and then apart right. from that in unit 7 the other challenge that we can see is like uh, no that time we didn't have so many uh, smart art techniques like smart right. smart way of studying like how nowadays you uh, know the, the students can use the you know, conceptical light they can use conceptica uh, uh, table flow charts, and uh, flow charts concept wheels, mind maps concept yeah. yes mind maps so these were something that were missing at the time when i was uh, taking up csi Preparing. net Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right. So I think the students of today are much more informed and privileged thanks to technology. Right. Yes. So, okay. So I think we have pretty much asked you almost every question for related to Unit 7 now, ma'am. So if you could quickly, uh, you know, because exams are very near and students are tensed and they would love to listen some golden words, final lines from you, a message to the students who are going to write the exam uh, in this. Uh, next month, if you could tell us your golden words, ma'am. I would just say, students, that you uh, know, uh, though time is less, so mm-hmm. whatever you have studied, so keep revising it. Now it is not the time to study something new. So whatever you have studied, keep revising it. Use the concept wheels, use the concept tables. So these are, you know, you can easily study in very short duration. So it is, uh, you know, it is colorful. It is very interesting. So you will not lose interest in your studies. So <laughs> and and don't get tensed. Don't get, you know, uh, like pressurized that there is so much to study. Whatever you have studied, have faith in yourself and you know, just believe and. Uh, in yourself and go and write the exam but yes before exam just go through the previous year question papers so this much will be enough and mm-hmm. i'm definitely sure if you follow this much then you will be a csr ranker yeah. Yes. yeah thank you so much ma'am for your time today it was really wonderful insightful and as always i loved uh, the conversation and so my dear audience students aspirants there you have it 
you have all the 360 degree information about unit 7 animal physiology from none other than the super expert of biotechnica violet ma'am now i want to remind you one very important thing here we can give you tips we can give you tricks but following them up is your responsibility if you are able to follow them definitely success will be yours remember you have to be unidirectional focused without self-doubting on your abilities go ahead and believe in the process day in day out study compounding effect will take over improve your studies by one percent every day stick to a time schedule and always listen to the experts because no matter how much hard work arjuna does without krishna he cannot win mahabharata thank you so much for watching this episode i'll see you in the next one till then take care bye bye